The question of Europe and the role that Europe could play has been uh, posed in Germany and elsewhere in questions. We had, for example, a, a paper from Ireland, a message from someone who correctly notes that in the beginning of 2003, there was a certain pulling together of Germany, France, and Russia for um, an alliance of honesty uh, toward, the, toward the invasion of Iraq, which was considered to be illegal. And it was enough to... Uh, this was a, a very good thing to happen. But today, could we not have a, an alliance for development going from France over to Russia and through Germany and use that instead of the austerity policy uh, and poverty, which is now dominant? And once the other countries see how this development process is, is working in some countries, others would immediately want to join as well, and some of these uh, Projects. What could be some of these projects to be taken, undertaken together? And we also have a question from a Serbian uh, expert. Is it possible for the uh, countries of the Euro Eurozone uh, to actually be able to work together when there's such a great difference um, between the development in the different countries? Uh, you have the countries of the Med Mediterranean who never really fulfilled the conditions for entering into the Eurozone, and now with uh, they have to deal with serious problems of deficit and so on. And is this, this uh, the EU right today kind of reminds one of uh, Yugoslavia at the time where there was uh, such a split between the different parts of it and it ended up by splitting apart. So what should we work together on, cooperate? Well, I think that in Europe, a completely new Republican tradition has to be established. Because basically the case is that the peoples of Europe are so different that they basically know nothing about each other. We seem a big European chunk, but what do the Germans know about the French in the Provence or the Bretagne? What do people in the south of France um, about the Irish or uh, the Swiss about the inner policies of Belgium. You have some um, prejudices where you say the French like to um, drink red wine and the Germans are very punctual. But really knowing something about the culture of each other and about the cu cultural debate about Sarkozy and Hollande, you get somehow an idea, but not going into the depth of the reality. You don't have a public intensive um, discussion of the media, of the interior of the other peoples of Europe. You don't know anything. For example, the reason that we did not realize that Greece is in such a difficult financial situation is because nobody's re reading Greek newspaper because they don't, don't read Greek. So it is a whole farce. You cannot introduce Esperanto, which is a completely artificial language that nobody speaks. That is also the reason why Latin never um, developed as a high language, although it was much more further developed than Esperanto. You have no poetry in Esperanto you did have in Latin. But a structure which has so many national histories and cultural um, self-understanding, which is completely different in all of these states, also as represented also by the languages, you cannot push that into one 
thing. It's completely wrong and also unproductive. We do need a real debate about whether we want to get rid of dem democracy, because there is no more democracy. We, we are not allowed to, 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 to take part in the policy making. When there was a opposition against the ESM, which would be shaped by the finance ministers, but also um, a non-elected body who have no responsibility towards the people and a group of technocrats would define the budgets of the single nations and, and the parliaments um, would give up their major power, which is the power of, over the budget. Now, there has been created a certain um, opposition against the ESM. There was a completely freak out in the newspaper of Augsburg. They said the Eurocritics have gone, but it's not true because Germany is now losing uh, that Germany would be losing its its voice, but Germany does have the biggest voice, um, as France too. But you could also claim that if you go to a station, um, where you have to deal with very very sick people um, and deal with them, then. Even though you can you can control them, you, you don't have any power because they are sick. The situation in Spain is going towards the situation as in Greece, in Portugal also. So we are in a situation where the prognosis is that we are in a very tight situation, um, even apart from the danger of war which should not be taken out of account, this type of Europe will not continue to exist. We'll need state citizens in every nation who think about how they can get the affairs under control themselves and create a debate inside their nation, among the people, um, as was done with the Federalist Papers, in the founding um, of the U.S. American Republic, who thought about how can we rule ourselves? How can we um, guarantee a participation of the political process of the individual? In Germany, we basically have a complete People have given up under the structures of this oligarchical system. People on the book tables tell us every day, you cannot change every, anything. And then we ask them, where do you live if you think that you cannot change anything, obviously in a dictatorship? Recently there was a, um, a symposium of the Commerzbank who said publicly, well, you, you shouldn't be bothered. All decisions are being made in London or at Wall Street. So it doesn't matter what we are discussing here anyway. And this situation we have to get rid of. We need participation, state citizens who take responsibility, what type of economic policy, what type of foreign policy and educational policy should, have been, should be taken and how we define the future. That Europe does not work the way it is based now, um, we can see that there is no debate about how the 21st century should actually look like, what the um, gains and should be used for mankind, and that is a sign of a dying mankind. But I'm absolutely convinced that we can change it because we have a great European culture. I have mentioned m many states like Latvia, Ukraine. We had renaissances. We had a renaissance in Germany. We have some of the most poets, scientists who have um, developed 
um, universal history here in Europe. We only have to revive it and um, create something anew from it. And then everything will be possible. <laughs>